it is slow Saturday. Mine is going to be 50% slow. I'm nearly there. I still have a cupboard that I'm in the process of painting. I've actually finished the color work. I just need to seal it today. And that will be my yarn chest of drawers thing. So I'm going to still do that today. And um, then I can actually sort out my craft room, which I will be extremely delighted about because my craft stuff is all over. My yarn is all over. There's some on the floor, some on the spare room bed, some on my table, some in crates. So I really need to finish painting that big chest of drawers so that I can put my yarn away. And then after that, my Saturday will be very nice indeed. So last night I finished Summer Hemley. Um, well, I finished the knitting part of it. Okay, <clears throat> I haven't woven in the tails yet and I haven't given her any buttons, but there she is. Lovely licorice all sorts. Yay, I'm very, very happy with the yarn color. Really, I am. And um, <clears throat> when I sit this afternoon, we're going to have a nice... Uh, Comfy time in our Breikamer, in our social area. We're going to sit there this afternoon and listen to some music and then I will frothle. Let me tell you a story. A couple of years ago, there was a big discussion in South Africa on some of the craft groups regarding um, a collective term for everything that you can crochet or knit with. In English, we speak about yarn. Yarn is everything. It's wool, it's cotton, it's bamboo, it's yak, it's whatever, t-shirt, yarn, thin, thin, crochet, thread, all of that collectively is referred to as yarn. But in South Africa, we didn't have a term like that. I kid you not. So what people used to do, they would speak about wool. Wool. So they would call everything wool. I'm looking for t-shirt wool and it drove me insane because wool is something that comes from a sheep, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> we were lucky. One of the women in the crochet um, circles of South Africa is also a very well-known Afrikaans writer, Sophia Kapp. And she is on the Tal Kumisi, the Language Commission of South Africa. So she's very involved with how language grows, how it develops and whatever. And we asked to include a new word in the South African dictionary, yarn. Sounds the same as English, but it's spelled differently. It's spelled in an in Afrikaans way, J-A-A-R-N, yarn. And they actually included that in the non-official dictionary, but it is there on the Viva app and whatever. And then we also asked them to include Frawful. And they did, for a while. You see, in Afrikaans, a tail is a rafel. This is rafels. One rafel, two rafels. One rafel, two rafels. And we came, <laughs> it just happened by accident in the crochet world. We started to talk about it as a noun. Does buy a raffles. There's a lot of raffles that I need to weave away. And then we changed it into a verb to say, ek moet raffel. I have to raffle. Weave away the raffles. But we added an F in front. So it became raffle. You can just imagine what the F is for. <laughs> so, on this little thing, there are many frawfuls. Frawfuls. <laughs> and I need to frawful this afternoon. And when the Language Commission found out what the F stands for, they removed the word frawful from Beaver. <laughs> so, yarn at least is still there, but frawful is no longer there. So this afternoon, I will frawful <laughs> because I've got a lot of frawfuls. <laughs> okay, so I've got some exciting news for you. Okay, let's first go to the non-exciting news. The lock cabin patchwork. The design is nearly complete. It's only the join and the border that must all be designed. And then obviously the testers have got to finish. 
But this time of the year, it's getting a little bit difficult. Um, people are already starting to keep their money for Christmas and vacations because in South Africa, we have a long summer vacation over Christmas. We don't have a white Christmas. We have a summer Christmas. So we decided to postpone the launch date of that crochet along, that cull, until next year, March. So the testers will be done by the end of January. So you will be able to see the finished products during February. And there will be kits available from Moya. And they will go on sale in February already. And then we will start the cowl in March. I just took the decision to just take the pressure off everybody. It must be enjoyable. I'm not going to push everybody. You must finish. We need it. No, we don't. Life happens. And... This is what happened. This is Remus. Remus is now standing with his back towards you. This is the black burble that makes it impossible for me to have socials at my house. Because he's always shivering and he's huge. And he doesn't like strangers. Okay, so the curl will be next year in March. Right. Summer Henley will be published next week. If you are a paid patron that is supporting me on the Ilona Slow Life tier, no, living the Slow Life tier, you will get the pattern for free. Uh, if you are interested, the living the Slow Life tier is a $3 subscription through Patreon, so it's $3 a month. That you pay me to just support me to keep on designing. It's all it is. And... You get patterns for free. You get patterns. Sometimes I give the pattern at a discounted rate. Um, sometimes, like last month, when we launched the crochet guide to greatness, uh, I gave it for, oh, I think it was for free. I can't remember now. I think it was for free. Anyway, so there's you get much more than the $3 that you contribute in a month. You get back through discounts and free patterns and what have you not. Okay, so that's that. Now, when I finish that Summer Henley today, I am going to start on a new project. And it is going to be a knit along. Um, I thought of making a summer short sleeve little cardigan to wear over a camisole and I want to make it in stripes and I thought of using Moya shimmer tots because look at this I've got a whole box of tots every color that is in the Moya tot range is in this box so I think I'm going to make a nice stripy cardigan I spoke about it last week as well so if you want to join the knit along Get yourself some yarn that you can make nice stripes with. Now, Moya has got a sale this weekend for 25% off on Shimmer, if I'm not mistaken. I saw it somewhere. I should have checked it. I'm sorry, I didn't think about it. But they've got a sale. Go look on a free yarns. <clears throat> the, the Shimmer is on special. I'm positively convinced about it. Anyway. Okay, so I've got 60 tots in this box. So that's enough actually for one and a half cardigans for me, I think. Okay, anyway. So what is the cardigan going to look like? I don't know yet, but I'm, I've got an idea in my head. Because you see, the Marlin Queen of South Africa, Adela Marie, I had an interview with her a while ago. Oh, I've got an interview lined up for today. Uh, sorry. Um, Adela has never knitted one of my patterns, as far as I know. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. She's never done it. But she said she wants to do the curl because she likes the stripes idea. And I know for a fact that Adela doesn't like to knit pull. She hates purling. So how about we do a curl that's super easy. Even for novice knitters, absolute newbies. So you can make a garment for yourself. It will fit you because it will be a measure and make pattern. And it will only be knit stitches, no pull. So we make it garter stitch. I think it's going to be lovely. Yes. 
That is what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me get my head together now. I lost my trail of thought when my husband came back in and the dog went all excited. Hmm, okay, so Rebel Henley will be released this week. If you missed it a week or two ago, the Crochet Guide to Greatness is now available on Crubly as well as in the yarn shop. If you want to pay in South African rands, go to jaarn.co.za. It's my favorite shop. I love shopping at yarn. And if you want to pay in dollars, go to crubly.com. But I will post the links for you. The Crochet Guide to Greatness is available there. So if you're a new crocheter, even if you're an, an, a very well experienced crocheter, there will be something in there for you. I talk about everything related to crochet, different hooks, um, different styles of holding the hook, how to choose yarn, how to match colors, the color wheel, different color schemes, problems that we encounter in crochet, special techniques like invisible joints, standing stitches, twisted double crochet, all of that is in there. It's available on Crubly and on Yarn. Um, Rebel Henley will come out this week. And if you want to knit along, get yourself some yarn that you want to make stripes with. I'm going to use Moya Shimmer from my tot box. I can go with the tot. And um, a freak yarn has got a sale this weekend. Go check it out. And when will the knit along begin? I don't know. As soon as mine is done. Somewhere during the month of October. It will probably be towards the end of October. Probably. Because, I mean, I have to finish mine to show you what it's like so that you can decide whether you want to knit it or not. Now, if you're new to measure and make, Measure and make patterns, and I did them in crochet and I do them in knitting as well. You start off with a measurement, something. Circumference of your head, circumference of your neck, just, it depends on the design. And then from there, you work to your body measurements. So the thing that you make will fit you. Why did I come up with this concept? Because I am built out of proportion, as I told you last week. My bust is far too big for my shoulders, so yeah, buying something is a real pain in the behind, so I just knit myself. So the measure and make patterns is fully size inclusive. Most of them you can make for a newborn baby right up to a big adult male if you so wish. So that is what the knit along is going to be. It's going to be an open summer cardigan with short sleeves that you can wear over a camisole. I'm still... Um, contemplating in my head whether I want to do buttons or not, but I will see. But it's going to be a garter stitch cardigan, specifically, specially for a dealer she doesn't like to pull. And I don't blame her. Anyway, okay, so that's all from me. I'm now going to paint my yarn chest of drawer thing so that I can sort out my craft room. Then I can clean up my house. If I've got all the yarn and the crates and everything off the floor, my robot vacuum cleaner can start walking again because that's really, really um, a pain in the behind at the moment. She's not walking, she's standing. Yeah. Okay, I will enjoy my slow Saturday and I hope you will enjoy yours. I'll see you next week.